So it's um, July 15th today. Oh, I'll have to send my nephew a birthday card. I forgot. I don't know if it'll get there in time. Unfortunate when the turmeric clumps in there and ugh. anyway, that's done. And some green tea. <clears throat> The house isn't hot right now. It's only plus 20 in there, so I'm making James some um, garlic toast is, um, for breakfast. He'll, he'll enjoy that. Um, he likes it with tomatoes on it. But it'll be a little bit different today because um, our neighbors, Chris and Dave, who gave us these um, chihuahuas are so emotional. Gave us these chairs, which are painted purple. And I think this actually originated from them, too. Now that I think about it, I might have bought it from them. I'm not sure if they were having a garage sale. Because this was a, a long time ago. Those were just recently. Those were given to me. And, um, anyway, I was walking by their place to deliver some, um, uh, a sauce which I'd canned for my friend Bob so I'd canned yesterday since it wasn't hot yesterday and um, so I was walking past their place and uh, they had a sign in front of their basil that said free basil take as much as you need or want or something like that <clears throat> so I knocked on their door or rang the doorbell, whatever, and they didn't answer, so I thought, oh, well, I shouldn't just take it, but um, I went and got my scissors in a bag, and I walked back, and I read the sign very closely, <laughs> and sure enough, I'm supposed to, so I will thank them later for it. Um, I took a little bit of basil, and I'll put it on James' garlic toast this morning, so you'll have your fresh basil. I don't actually have a lot of it in, I can show you some of it, theirs are huge, but they have the sun for it, and um, the only sun that I really have for gardening is my peat belt row, and um, it's pretty full, so I didn't put the basil there this year, and uh, so my basil's just little, and their basil is big, beautiful basil. So, I mean, some of mine is grown in the shade, and it's growing, it's living, but it's not very big. I think I'm actually going to take it in in the fall and try to grow this houseplant because it's very small still. Um, I'm totally shaded out by these.
tomatoes. <sighs> Maybe that's why that tomato is doing so well, because it has a whole bunch of basil at the bottom. I don't know, because basil is a companion plant for tomato, right? That tomato is crazy. It's so huge. But yeah, my tomatoes have little fruit on them now. If you can see any from there, but they're just green right now. I don't know what color they will become because I don't. I don't think I left the tags in. I made tags this year, but I don't think I left them in the pots. I don't like to leave tags in when I plant things. I um, I like to draw a map of where I planted things with the name of whatever I put there. You know what I mean? Well, and honestly, I don't really care that much about like what kind of tomato it is when it's placed. Like, if I want to do something pretty with the tomatoes, like have um, different color schemes or whatever going on in how I'm planting them, and I decide that when I'm planting them, and I don't need to have the tag there to remind me, oh yeah, that's a such and such. I don't care. Um, I'll certainly know what it is once it fruits, so that's fine. Anyway, so that's my breakfast for July 15th, I got 6 hours, 54 minutes sleep, so it's almost enough, but that, that was so broken. Um, but I'm thankful for it, because it's a lot better than what I've been getting. Um, I slept through a really bad movie last night. And, uh, yeah, James said it was just terrible. So I didn't really miss anything. I got a good sleep. So that's terrific. Yeah, I think it's starting to root. Check it out. It hasn't died. See, I, I was wondering if I could do this because I planted a bunch of them. Can you see the roots along the side? I don't know if you can. The water looks kind of sponge. There's a dead fly in it and stuff. But anyway, this is a golden berry and it had broke, the stem broke, and I wanted to see if I could root it. And sure enough, not dying and rooting. So I might be able to take a whole bunch of clippings and um, I give everybody each a golden berry that I know. So then they can have their own little golden berry plants.